Johnson tonight along with Bellator veteran Adam Meredith. Now making his way to the cage, it is Jose Diaz. Now Jose still looking for a win in his first outing. Last time he told me, I learned a lot from that fight. I was all about getting in now, learning something new, and I feel much better coming into this fight. So the first fight was at Shamrock FC 329. He felt a bit intimidated by the big show. He told me that that intimidation now, he feels much more ready. So we're going to see how that plays out tonight. And his opponent, Bradley Emmett. Coming to the cage by way of Robbins MMA, it is Bradley Emmett. Now, Bradley Emmett is a former high school wrestler who tonight is making his mixed martial arts debut. But he told me, he says that I'm stronger. I have so much experience training with the guys at Robbins MMA, like Shamrock FC vet Justin Angel in his corner. The guys who come out of those type of gyms, they feel great. Also, being a former high school wrestler, the MMA was to be more into the world of competition. You want to keep com competing after that high school, after that college career. MMA is a big one now for people. Absolutely. MMA is such a natural progression for wrestlers. You have a lot of experience competing in wrestling. It's not too much different actually being out there on the wrestling mat. You and one other guy out in the center, you just have to be in the cage here tonight. This should be a fun one. Very much thank you all for joining us on Facebook. Please go over to Fight TV, that is FITE.TV, to continue the pay-per-view after this. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's opening contest is scheduled for three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championship's featherweight division. Introducing to you first fighting tonight out of the Pappy's Smokehouse Blue Corner. A mixed martial artist, this hands five feet, seven inches tall. He weighed in officially at 145 pounds. Fighting out of East St. Louis, Illinois, Jose Diaz. Across the cage, his opponent fighting tonight out of the Cardinal GMC Red Corner. This competitor stands five feet, nine inches tall. Official weight, 145.6 pounds. Fighting out of Springfield, Illinois, Bradley Emmett. <laughs> Referee Zach Tybris has the call for this first contest. Bradley Emmett in the red tape, Jose Diaz in the blue. Quick touch of the gloves, and here we go. Emmett coming in, big oh, nice kick to the kick. body, that hurt. Diaz goes for the shot, but he leaves his neck open. He's got to be careful, he doesn't want to get guillotined here. Emmett passes guard here. He's going to look to work to mount. Push in here by Emmett, he's controlling that arm now, trying to get those hooks in. Yeah, both hooks in, he's got the back. This is not looking good for Diaz right now. trying to flatten him out here, looking, got both of those hooks in. He's got to rotate over a little bit to get a little bit more in there, trying to lock that in. He's got the body triangle, and he's, it's on the top side. This is a really good position. He was falling off there, it looked like. This body triangle is a good position for him. Diaz oh. tries to roll, tries to create something, some sort of scramble. But that body triangle there, that's going to start to pull the air out of Diaz. When you're on the bottom, they, they're, chan they're just cranking that down on you, on your stomach. It really, it, it inhibits the breathing. Yeah, it's exhausting to have a guy on your back. First of all, you're carrying his weight, and then you add the squeeze of the body triangle to that. Much better, Rashad, much better. Nice couple of shots there landed by Emmett. He's going to try to land some shots, open up Diaz. Try to work to finish the rear naked choke here. Emmett needs to keep Diaz flat. 
Yeah, he's going to try to push down, but oh, Diaz trying to oh, get that scramble, fights the hands. Nice oh, move by Diaz. Emmett goes for the shot. But boy, the wrestling here of Emmett is the, so far, I mean, he's really controlling yeah, he with his it. class. He's going to look for a big slam here with the double leg. Oh, Diaz grabbed the cage oh, there. Grabbed the cage. Tries to lock in the gets guillotine. In the guillotine choke has it locked in. Can he hold on here? And Emmett trying to fight those hands. He's got a hand fight. He's got to push on that elbow. He's using the cage here. Ooh, nice move there by out. Emmett. Emmett's trying to see down the pound here. Diaz looking for the arm bar. Emmett doing a good job of stacking. Oh, here we go. He's going to try to pull that arm down. Yeah, Emmett doing a good job stacking. He needs to try to get that elbow free. Oops, he's got his arm free. Great attempt by Diaz. Yeah, Diaz throwing good submissions by the bottom here. Emmett has to be careful. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want Diaz to try to throw up another submission, a triangle maybe. Diaz doing a good job controlling posture. Emmett's using this case to his advantage though. Ten seconds here in the first round. Referee Zach Tyrus right on top of the action here. Big shots landed by Emmett to close out the round. Moving into the second round here, a very tough one to call because we saw a lot of work out of Diaz on the bottom. Diaz was very active on the bottom. However, if I had to score that one, I would probably give that one to Emmett. He seemed to push the pace just a little bit more and he had a little bit more control. However, you never know what the judges are looking at. Absolutely. But we saw a lot of power there out of Emmett on top. Again, those, those heavy shots. As we take a look here at the instant replay, we saw that, yeah, we saw that he shook him off of the, the guillotine position. Shook him off the guillotine. He did a good job using the cage to, to pin Diaz in a bad position and just ran down shots. He went on the offense as soon as he got out of that bad position. A lot of good jujitsu there. Speaking of jujitsu, big congratulations on finishing third in the world here uh, in, in the no-gi Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah, it was amazing. Thank you, sir. That was a slick armbar attempt by Diaz. Let's see what he does coming out in this next round. Diaz breathing heavy here in the corner. And it has a little bit of smile there. Looks, looks real calm. Steps back though. Diaz wearing his fight a little bit on his face there. Oh! Chase him down again. Look at that big takedown. Ooh, nice oh. takedown by Emmett. Just ducked. Ducked the shot, went for the body lock, picked him up, finished right into side control here. Side control is one of those positions that every wrestler loves. Side control or having half guard. They yeah. can just stay there and just beat on you. Yeah, as a wrestler, you feel very safe. Well, just in general, those are very control. Like, those are, you have a high control there. Those are just good positions for everybody. But as a wrestler, yeah, that's very natural to be in that side control position, be in that half guard position. Uh, you have control there, and you can work your shots, as you're seeing Emmett do. He's throwing some really good short shots here. Trying, trying to, to look, trap that arm. Trying to trap that arm, work a crucifix here. Emmett sliding into full mount here. Full mount by Emmett trying to get those hands free. Diaz needs to try to get. Oh, he's going to try to oh, slip out the back. Trying to slip out the back door. Nice Create move. A scramble. Oh, comes up on top. Nice. Oh, oh look right at the step mount. over in the mount. Steps over in the mount. Lands some big shots here. I don't think Emmett was ready for that. Let's see how his jiu-jitsu is. We know he's a good wrestler. Let's see how his good jiu-jitsu is. It, Diaz is in a very dominant position here. This is one of those that wrestlers hate. They hate being on their back here as we are just over halfway through the second round of this three round contest. Yeah, this goes against every instinct that you have. <laughs> Absolutely. As a you do not want to be on your back here. Whereas a jiu jitsu person, this is kind of normal. Yeah, yeah. As a jiu jitsu guy, you used to be on your back. Diaz doing a real good job here covering one the mouth, disrupting the breathing. Oh, oh, big switch out there. Nice sweep. Nice roll by uh, Emmett. He's in the full guard of Diaz. Got about 50 seconds left here. Emma's going to want to, you know, open up, open up Diaz's guard here, land some shots. 
Diaz doing a good job controlling the posture, not taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, great position here. Little heel strikes Couple there, heel 30 strikes seconds. There. Both guys throwing here. Diaz, he doesn't want to just stay here and just and just keep Emmett in his closed guard. He wants to create some space and get on his feet. Yeah, he's got to open that guard, look to get on a hip, just like that right, right there. Right, yeah, any sort of offense, you have to open up your guard. You can't just sit there and close guard. And on the judges, your scorecard, you're not going to be winning on your back. Both of these guys here just throwing bombs. So, Big Adam, so far, how do you see this GMC fight? Oh, man, I, I almost don't even know how to, to judge that one. I don't want to be a judge in this one. That one was very back and forth. It looked like for a while, uh, you know, Emmett started out strong, but then Diaz got that mount. It looked like, you know, he controlled a, a good portion of that round, but then again, then there was that back, with, uh, back and forth where Emmett got on top there at the very end. So, it's hard to see uh, what the judges are seeing. You know, it could go either way. Uh, my instinct was to give it to Diaz, make an even fight. If I'm these guys' corner, you know, you can't say that you're winning, for sure. You got to tell these guys, you got to come out here, you got to decisively win this round. It could, it could be split right now. Absolutely. Third and final round here. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with Adam Meredith. We are live at Ameristar Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Shamrock FC 333. Again, thank you for joining us on Facebook. You can move over to the pay-per-view at Fight TV. That is F-I-T-E dot TV. DS6 is setting the cage here. This has been the story of the fight, is the takedown ability of Emmett. Yeah, he seems to do a really good job timing Diaz as he comes in, trying to land a big shot. He ducks those shots, gets the body lock, takes him down right into side control. It seems to be the story of this fight. Heavy top pressure coming out of Emmett here. And actually, as we see here, Diaz starting to kind of roll to his side. He's going the wrong way. He's got to turn into him. Yeah. He now just, we end up in north-south position. He's in the north-south position here. I don't know if he's just trying to create a scramble. It's almost like he's trying to, you know, trap him his head in the guillotine. However, from this side control position, he's not going to be able to create enough force to, to finish that. Uh, Emmett maybe trying to go for a Von Flu choke here. See a really good shoulder pressure. Diaz has to be careful giving up his back here. Emmett has the back. He needs to put in some hooks if he wants to control this position. Diaz tries to roll. Emmett rolls with him. He has a single hook in. Oh, oh both hooks are in. It looks finish. like he has it locked up. Is he going to finish? He's oh, and he Gets the it. tap. Good hit pressure by Emmett there. Bradley Got both hooks Emmett in. Definitely taking that both hooks in. Big finish there. Beautiful display there of wrestling using the jiu-jitsu. But really, the takedown is the story of this fight. Yeah, absolutely. Emmett did a great job timing those takedowns, really putting himself in an advantageous position whenever he landed the side control after each of those takedowns. Shamrock FC president Jesse Finney letting Jose Diaz know that was one heck of a fight. It was. He definitely learned a lot more from his last outing there. Looked much better in this fight. But really, Brad Emmett standing up, getting his first win. Let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to a close at 1 minute 29 seconds of the third and final round. Your winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. Out of the red corner, Bradley Emmett! A huge win for Bradley Emmett here in his mixed martial arts day.